just a few weeks, you may be meeting your significant other's parents for the holidays. Don't fret if you're a little nervous and want to make a great first impression. Get some bottles of wine, and we've got some you can take with you. Adam Sager from the family-owned company Wine Cellars Limited is here to break it down for us. Adam, thanks for being here with thanks us. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. So I, I hear that you don't have to bring out the expensive wines necessarily to impress, right? Definitely not. There's so many great values out there in the market right now. You can find great wines between $10 and $20 pretty easily. Really? $10 and $20? In fact, yeah. I mean, my family owns a wine import company. We just had all of our neighbors over. And I think the most expensive wine I took out was maybe $18 retail. And everybody, I think you've got everybody's everybody really attention now. It. So you don't have to go big. You, don't have to go you big, can no. still go home with something that's not that expensive. So sure. I brought my buddies because they've asked to be involved in this. When they saw the wine, they got really excited. It's kind of difficult working with me for 90 minutes without some alcohol. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in Danielle. I'm going to bring in Brandon Pope. They're going to be uh, some, taste to some taste testers. We're excited to some taste Try some stuff. So Adam, why don't you take us through the first one here? It's we happy got... hour somewhere, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay, so the first, the first wine I brought was actually a sparkling wine. It's called Henri Leblanc. It sounds really expensive, right? Indeed. It's from France. It's a Blanc de Blanc. So it's made from 100% white grapes. How much are we talking for this one here? Well, why don't you taste it first? Okay. And okay. then we'll maybe have you guess. Brandon, don't know. finish the whole thing. I, I know Danielle you. will approach this with class. I'm a man of quest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. You guys are up. dig in. All right. All right. Okay. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. All right. To the jam. There you go. So sure France, France is known for sparkling wine, and the most famous region is Champagne, for example. Okay. Um, they also make sparkling wine in Burgundy and the Loire Valley and Alsace. This, Ooh, wine, like this wine comes from, from the Burgundy region. It's made from 100% white grapes. How much do you think it is? Percentage of alcohol? No, no. probably not. <laughs> <laughs> she's I think, looking it she's really thinking deep. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with $20. I'm going to say 40 how about eight ninety nine? Ooh, Whoa. that's good. Okay, so that one's the budget. Eight ninety nine at Binnie's. You can pick that one up. I like that one. What do we have here? So this next one is from Spain. It's called Carlos Serres. It's from Rioja. Okay. Rioja is probably the most famous wine region in. So we got a red here. Right. I love Spain. my reds. I love my yeah. reds. Brandon, you go first. All right, okay. cool. You really know what you're talking about. <laughs> so in in Rioja, they grow a grape variety called Tempranillo. And that's the main red grape used in Spanish mm -hmm. wines. This would be a lighter red. <coughs> okay. um, you know, if you're going to a dinner party, you want to maybe have a, a light red and oh, a full body red. Light. Some people like lighter, fruitier reds. It's Thank got you, a bold friend. flavor as soon as it hits your tongue, too. Like, I, I really like this one a lot. What do okay. you think? Yeah, I like this one. This yeah. is very good. I'm not as much of the wine connoisseur. That's why I brought my two friends here to class it up a little bit. <laughs> and obviously, yeah. Adam, you know what you're talking about. So how much are we so, talking for So that? in Rioja, they make great value. Um, you can find wine for $10. You can find wine for $15, $20, $25. This one falls about eleven ninety nine retail. Wow, these I mean, are good prices. And yeah. the thing is, I think it's great is if you show up with these, someone's like, man, they really invested and put a lot of money <laughs> the in it. packaging's yeah. nice. It, it sounds right. It sounds like it comes from Spain. It sounds amazing. And it tastes right. But most important to note, you're not cheapening the quality. I mean, this is really good stuff, no, no, everybody. So 30 great. seconds yeah. for the last one here, Adam. What do we have? A grand okay, finale. the last one is called Gran Passione. Yeah, the it Gran looks like a very that, fancy bottle. Yes. It's like a very <laughs> fancy bottle. It has an, has an etched, etched glass yeah. on the top. A little crust in there. I like This it. one's from Italy. Um, there's a famous wine in Italy called Amarone, very expensive wine. It's made from uh, dried grapes that they, they put on a mat okay. for, for days and let them dry out. It's Thank a very you. expensive winemaking process, but this wine is made in a less expensive way to taste like Amarone. I'm gonna like this, I like the smell. So this is a full bodied red. This is my favorite. That's your favorite. That's really good. Cheers, guys. That's excellent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I do so, this? <laughs> sure. When I go to the grocery store, up. I never know what to pick out, so now I'm going to look for these. Look for, look for packaging. Look for a, a wine that sounds right. Yeah. And then and then on right, the right price point, and then if it tastes right, you've got a winner. Adam Sager, thank you so much for all the tips. And if you're looking for more wines to impress, head over to winecellars.com. It's great, it tastes good, it looks good, and it's inexpensive. You can't beat that, everybody.